Terry Jackson, welcome to The Daily Show. Thank you, Tamara. So, I think I'm gonna start with the question that really sets up the, the, the whole, you know, not even discussion, but the situation. Some people have seen pieces of the story. Brittany Griner detained in Russia. Some say, you know, it was because of a false accusation. Some say it was because of prescriptions. How did the story start, just to get everybody on the same page? Our very own Brittany Griner, BG, was returning back to Russia. Um, I think everybody saw that clip of her in the airport. Um, at some point, there was a search of her belongings. And um, what we learned thereafter was that she was detained. She was returning back to Russia to go play with her team that she's mm -hmm. played with for several years and won great championships um, for them. Um, so she didn't make it back to the team. She was detained. And let's just stop right there and just think about what that means um, to be an American over in Russia, to, to be learning about this process in real time and um, coming forward and, and making the statements that she made. And we're just hoping and praying that the judge, the court, um, extends her great compassion and great mercy because that was so incredibly brave to do. Um, a, but again, but again, reading the case into the record mm -hmm. and, and hopefully this process, again, I don't completely understand it, but hopefully this process will continue to move forward and that, we can that, see a conclusion. If, if I may interrupt you there, I think um, sure. that's, been, that's been one of the, the more confusing aspects of the story. Initially, when it kicked off, um, many people were encouraged not to weigh in online, not to bring it to the president's attention, not to make it an issue because people felt like this may hamper, um, you know, her, her defense in Russia. Because, as, as, you know, in Russia, it's different. It's, it's not really a trial sure. the way Americans think of it. It's more the state lays out its, out its case, and I think it's over 90% um, prosecution rate. But what was interesting about this story is when it happened. Just as the invasion of Ukraine took place, it seemed like Brittany was being used as a pawn in this situation. And I know that puts yourselves in a precarious position, but. How much help are you hoping for from the administration and how much you know, of a movement are you hoping to turn this into or does that hamper the negotiations to, to, to bring this woman home? You're right. In the beginning, we were quiet. Um, that's what we were told. That was the best way to show our best support. And if anybody knows, and, and your audience knows WNBA players, um, they are very vocal. They, they look to get informed about a situation and they will step out on their platforms and, and, and give you know, the proper recognition, the proper spotlight. But the way that we were told in the beginning um, to best show our support was to be quiet. And so what we did was we, we reached out to experts um, mm -hmm. to learn about Russian, Ukrainian affairs, to learn more about this system, to learn how this could play out over the next several weeks. And so, as my members always do, they look to get informed and educated before they are ready to speak. When we heard that the State Department had um, classified BG as wrongfully detained, when we heard from Sherelle Greiner, BG's wife, that she needed our help, we heard that through her team, it was go time for, mm -hmm. my, for my members because this is an issue about the sanctity of sport. You're right. She should not be a political pawn. This is not a game. This is not the game. And so to see our brothers and sisters across all the different professional sports and so many different organizations step up with us in this global sports community and talk about BG and, and talk about this case and talk about the need to get her home, um, you know, <sighs> That's, there, gotten, been... that's gotten the Biden administration's a attention. Right. And um, that call that Sherelle Greiner got from not only the president, but the vice president to assure her that they were doing everything possible to get BG home and other detained Americans home. Mm -hmm. Well, that gave us the assurance that we need. And, you know, quite frankly, Trevor, what this country needs is a rallying cry. And that's what We Are BG is all about. It's a rallying cry. We need a win. So we need to stand with this president. We need him to do what 
whatever it takes to bring BG home. When you look at the situation, you know, through the lens of people who are helping, people who aren't helping, as you said, there's been support, you know, from other athletes who, who now have been given the license to speak. Um, there are some who have said it feels like this isn't something that would have happened to, uh, you know, one of the men's basketball players. You know, if this was LeBron, he would have been out in a week, is what people say. But it feels like whenever dealing with an international incident, there is a lot of sensitivity that has to come into play. And, and so I wondered from your side, when looking at people raising their voices, et cetera, what are, you, what are you hoping that they would push for? You know, is this a situation where you feel the administration has got it handled? I know that her family hasn't spoken to her, but, but what do you need from the people? Or is it just everybody having to wait because two governments are having a conversation about a delicate issue? You do have to recognize in any geopolitical system um, or situation that you've got to be sensitive, right? You've got to be careful. You've got to watch and you've got to monitor. Right now, it's go time. Right now, what we need from so many organizations, from, from so many of our fans, um, those in your audience, what we need is to unite, to come together, put politics aside, and let this administration know we want them to do whatever it takes to bring our wrongfully detained Americans home. We need folks to go to the wearebg.org website. Again, I'm gonna say it, wearebg.org. Go to that website, sign the petition, tell folks that you have signed the petition. It is important that we get this visibility um, and that we get the awareness out there. Terry Jackson, thank you so much for joining us for the show. 